This is tutorial number 11, and it covers how to use the rib function within Autodesk Inventor. Now to start off, let's open up a part file. Let's click File, and let's click the rib tutorial part, which I've included on the DVD. Now I've already made the part that we're going to make the rib on, and what we're going to do in this tutorial is we're going to make a rib between this surface and this surface. So to start off, let's open up the origin and you can see that the XZ plane, let me rotate this around, intersects in between those two extrudes that I made from before. So we're going to sketch onto the XZ plane and that's going to be our rib that's going to show up in between those two faces. So let's click sketch and all we have to do to make a rib is you have to make one line. So let's click line and we'll click a point that touches that face and we'll click a point that touches this face here. Now let's click return and we'll click rib and we're able to make our rib off of that face that we made. Now you're able to show the direction that it goes in and to start off we're going to make it go in and we'll make we'll leave the thickness at one for now. Let's click OK and you can see that we made a rib in between those two faces that's one millimeter thick. Now it's easy for us to adjust this so let's right click the rib, click edit feature and let's change this to five mil. Click OK and now our rib is five millimeters. Now let's go back into it and there's a couple parameters that we can play with. We can play with what side it gets extruded to, a left or right side, or we can do a mid-plane. So it's just like the extrude function that we did at first. And we can also, instead of making it full, we can make it finite. So if we click this, we're only going to get a thin feature of it, and we get to choose how thick it's going to be. So right now, let's just leave it at 1 mil and take a look. So that's our rib at 1 mil. Now we can make it a little thicker if we want it. Let's right click it, click add a feature, and let's make it 5 mils also. Click OK. And now we've made a rib that's 5 mil by 5 mil, and it touches both surfaces. And that concludes our tutorial on how to use the rib feature within Autodesk Inventor.